All right. It's the government's duty to provide protection. But can the government license its responsibility of military out to private entities? What is the moral argument for private mili military? I don't know a moral argument for private military. I, my, I would argue no. There should be no private militaries. And in that sense, I am against the outsourcing of prisons. I am against a privatization of prisons. I am against the privatization of, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, military contractors. I am against all of that. It is the sole response. The government has the monopoly over the use of force. Now, I think it's okay to have, like, security forces internally that are small, that have the limited responsibility. But once you get to tanks... And, and whole military divisions and stuff like that, once you privatize that, you are creating real potential conflicts, real dangers, real enemies that could rise up. You're, you're creating the potential of real anarchy. And as you know, I view anarchy as though probably the worst state of affairs for mankind. So I, I think it's too easy for it to get out of hand. Government should own these things. It's their responsibility, not own them in the sense of property, own them in the sense of responsibility. And they should have complete control over the defense of the country and any military operations. They should have complete control over policing, even though it's a certain level security could be privatized. And they should have complete control over, I think, prisons. I mean, there are all kinds of problems that private prisons create that I'm not going to get into now. Some future super chat you can ask me about. Why would someone believe that freedom is anarchy? Well, because, because it's, a, it's a tempting mind game. I, I kind of understand them, right? It's tempting to say, and, it's, and, and it, they miscategorize what freedom is, right? So th they agree with the leftists that freedom is whatever you feel like. Freedom is... The, 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 the getting your whims, getting whatever you want. There's no accident, by the way, that most anarchists are inspired by Mario Rothbard's kind of um, subjectivist moral philosophy, to the extent that you call it a philosophy, but subjectivist moral view. They just want whatever they want. I want to own a tank. I, 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 want, I, want, I, want, I, don't, I don't like these laws. I want different laws. I want, I want to do this. I want to do... I just want. And therefore, freedom means to them just wanting stuff, whatever. And then they go, but wait a second, if we had a government that passed laws, that would restrict me and the certain things that I want that I couldn't do. That's not acceptable. That's limiting my freedom. But no, it's making possible your freedom. Objective law's purpose is to make freedom possible because freedom necessitates the elimination of coercion. And to do that, you have to have clear definitions of things like w the limitations of what are property rights, how to define them, how to, you know, what is and what isn't, what needs to, how do you enforce those. It's complicated. What is appropriate evidence in a court of law? All of those kind of things are what preserve freedom, are what preserve the absence of coercion and your positive ability to go out and pursue your life, go out and pursue your values. Without them, you're at the whim of whoever has a bigger weapon than you do. I mean, that's a short answer to what could be a much longer discussion about anarchy. This what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, Many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time, so I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourronbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, Show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...